never be ashamed of who you are. The reason why I say that because at the very beginning I used alias to sign my painting because I didn't want people to find out that was me. One day I got this advice from my mentor. Do not afraid to use your own name because you are the only person who have this name in the world. There is no one else can be you. Only you can be you. Welcome to my studio. I am Xing Ling, also known as H. Ling the Artist. I am a Melbourne-based artist who is obsessed with flowers. So you can um, tell from my collection, they're all floral related. My story is actually probably a bit different than others. I was a fashion designer before I before my artist career. And years ago, I was seriously ill. I had a low time in my life. It was then I picked up my pen brushes after many years. I mean, I never stopped painting, but just in a different way. Six years ago, I started to paint again. And it's actually surprisingly meditating. It was art that help me back to my feet. So I do have a goal that I wanted to bring the positive energy and hope to people. It's the healing power that I want to bring to the people. You can see from my signature series that it's called Bloom Like Flowers. It is a signature series of mine that I have been developed for years. And the reason why I choose flowers is because every flower is just like humans. Every different flowers, they have different appearance. They bloom in different times. They have different flowering seasons. They don't compete with other flowers. They bloom with all they have. It is just like the way that we want to be alive. We fight with our own and we just be ourselves. And it's the natural order that I'm obsessed with. I just love it. So my inspiration is always coming from the nature. I have this special routine that I walk into the woods to have my meditation, just to clean my mind before I start my everyday painting session. There's only one rule for my collection, which is I never took anything alive. So in different seasons, I might pick up different things on the ground. In winter, I might have acorns, gum flowers and feathers, and it's, it's beautiful. In the very early stage, I had a painting which was established as a postcard, um, which is over here. <laughs> so this is my cat, Capri. One day I received a message from my art page. This lady, she's from England. She lives in Adelaide and all her family lives in UK because she lives alone here and she sometimes feels lonely. And she does have a cat which look exactly the same like my cat and she just miss her cat so much so then she bought a um, limited edition print that she hung up in her room and that actually it becomes her a company and i think that's an amazing thing because i know better than anyone else about being overseas alone so i'm i'm actually really happy that my artwork can comfort her so as many of you might know, still life is a very traditional thing. And I think it is the intention behind the artwork that I want to, try, I want to deliver um, makes my art different. For example, every flower has different meanings. For example, that um, the Dahlia stands for a new beginning. And normally it's a good new beginnings. I do have an affirmation for every particular paintings. For example, that one behind me is having faith in a sunny place, everything is possible. You might not believe it, I spent almost half of the years on that one. And I just want to remind myself and the viewer that something you want, you really want, might not be achieved overnight. It might be something that you need to work on and keep working on and never give up. I'm going to be very honest <laughs> about this question. I. I'm actually a bit scared <laughs> because some of the collector already know when I first started painting, I was in very bad health condition. At that time, I was only thinking about I want to be alive. It's the strong living will that driven me to paint. So at the 
very first beginning, I couldn't focus for more than half an hour. It was that bad. The time goes by, I can actually work longer hours and I can paint better, keep improving the skills. So you can see actually I, the size of the painting is getting bigger and the detail is better. It's definitely better. I'm actually very happy with the direction where I'm heading to. This is actually a very deep question I have to say. I have to say I was very lost at the beginning because I never, I never gave up and I do find myself connected with the world furthermore with my artwork that is a very amazing feeling and i never thought that would happen for example when collectors saw my artwork they may say oh your artwork reminds me home i saw vitality and hope in your paintings it, it is exactly what i want to deliver to the viewer flowers is not just a beautiful flowers they have meanings. I do think there is a common thing that is happening like everywhere. Like people might think oil is always better than acrylic or acrylic is always better than watercolor. Or maybe some artists will think, oh, poetry is definitely better than still life. But in my point of view, every art style and every one is unique just like every flowers they bloom in their own time. I don't think there is anything is better than the others. For example, as a human, regardless your skin color, your age, generation, we are diverse. We, there are so many variety in art and there's nothing to argue. Everyone is the best. People have a wrong idea that collecting art is a privilege, which is not because art is everywhere it can be on your shopping bag it can be on the coffee cup <laughs> or on postcard it, it's actually in your life and because art is life to me i feel that art is a part of us like in every one of us the best advice that i've ever received and i think that still affect me deeply till now never be ashamed of who you are. The reason why I say that because at the very beginning, I used alias to sign my painting because I didn't want people to find out that was me. But one day I got this advice from my mentor. Do not afraid to use your own name because you are the only person who have this name in the world. There is no one else can be you. Only you can be you. I know in comparison with other artists, I think the way I answer question is pretty simple. There's nothing difficult in it. <laughs> this is my life. So I just, I wanted to be honest to the viewer, but I do have those experience that when I told them that I started to paint because I was sick, some people, they might judge me. That happened, but not very often. But the reason why I choose to be honest to the viewer every time is I wanted to let people know that if you are going through any difficulty right now, there is nothing wrong with it. You are not alone. And there is so many people like me or like any others, we are all having our own difficulties. So I want to tell you that don't give up. You'll be fine. It's amazing. Actually, uh, I saw Color Space Australia in the very beginning because that idea is very new and you have those concepts that art is for everyone art can be anywhere and i think you are the frontier i mean color space at you is the frontier you guys bring the artwork into the office that is what i wanted to say art is everywhere in your life it can be on the way you go to work it can be on the tram it can be anywhere and i think that's awesome you can find me on my website, which is www.xinglingart.com. And you can also find me on Facebook and Instagram, but my Instagram handle is hello inner peace, which is not Xingling. As you can tell, it's hello inner peace, as we are welcome inner peace to our life.